Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to wirelessly print a document from an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone. I had got this question a couple of uh, times and the thing is that to print a document or anything from your iOS device like an iPad or iPhone, you need a, a AirPrint compatible printer. But the problem is that uh, though this AirPrint functionality has been released uh, for quite some time, there is a very limited amount of printers that support this functionality. And let's say you already have a great printer, but uh, it doesn't have AirPrint functionality. And today I'm going to show you a small software called uh, AirPrint Activator that can make any printer AirPlay uh, compatible so that you can print uh, from your iOS device using your existing printer. And it's really simple to uh, configure the same and it will take just about two minutes to do the same. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how to install the same and we're going to test it with an iPad. To make any printer AirPrint compatible, you need to install this small software known as AirPrint Activator. You can go to this link and download the same. Uh, I installed this version. You can click this to download it and install it. This works on uh, Snow Leopard. If you're using a Lion, you might have to go and use the beta version. That's AirPrint Activator version 2. For this demo, I have used this AirPrint Activator version 1.1.3 as I'm using Snow Leopard. And this is what it looks like when you activate the software. This switch will be in the off position. Once you click on the same, a dialog box will come. Enter the Mac OS X password and install the required files. Once that is done, open up system preferences. And here you need to go to this print and fax option. At this point, it's better to switch on your printer. And once you have switched on your printer, uh, this green icon should be lit up. That means your printer is active. And here you need to check mark this. Share this printer on the network. And also you just go to the sharing preferences and make sure that the printer sharing is enabled. Actually now this is the actual setup needed and things should work fine but it didn't work for me. What I had to do was I had to manually remove this printer and again add this printer again for it to work. You might not have to do this, but for me it didn't work with the first go and I had to remove this printer and reinstall it for the AirPrint functionality to uh, work. You can actually now shut this off and then now I'm going to use my iPad and we're going to print a document to this printer. This is my Xerox laser printer. I have switched it on. Now I open the iPad and we are going to print this Google web page. So what I do is I click on this and here you need to click on the print icon. It might take a couple of seconds and here it should basically show you the printer as this is my Xerox printer. It's been shown here. I just click on the same and for this test, I'm just going to print one copy. So I hit the print button. And as you can see, the printer is making some noise and hopefully in a couple of seconds, it should print this Google page. As you can see, it's printing the page. And this is the page that we printed from our iPad. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you click on the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This was Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.